validate line function is another entry point which we have in line script so this validate line entry point function usually executes at line level so let's say in sales order whenever you had any line item and then the quantities and all other mandatory fields and then when you click add and when you try to commit this line in the sales order the validate line function will be getting executed so this validate line function accepts one script parameter which is called a script context and this context has access to the current record and the sublist id so it also returns true if the sublist is valid if you are failing to return something from the validate line by default it will consider it as false so it will not allow you to commit the line this is mostly used for some kind of validation at the line level so i have already uploaded this code and i had made sure only validate line gets triggered and if i open the script record i can see netsuite has already detected it as validate line function actually and i have already deployed it on the sales order record let's snag it to transaction sales i'll click enter sales order and now if i just scroll down and let's try to add one item and i will tab off now if i just click add our validate line function will get triggered so i will just click on add on the right hand side i can see validate line on sublist id item has been triggered so if i just click add one more time on this particular second line it gets triggered right so if i just select this existing line and if i click okay the validate line gets triggered here you can see the number is getting updated automatically the number of times it has been triggered so if i click one more time i can see the number is getting increased so this is how the validate line triggered in sublist level now let's take a small example let's try to add one if condition on the item sublist and then if the item value is something different let's say i want to get this value of item the sublist using this api what's the item value we are getting i mean the actual internal id of the item and then if it matches let's say if the item id matches with 252 252 is the item internal id so we'll allow this line to get committed else we'll not allow the user to commit this line so this is like just making sure user selects always one item which is 252 internal id item which is nothing but bedroom and crafted queen bed so on the else part if you see i just added the alert now let's upload this code to netsuite now let's try creating one sales order sales and i'll click enter sales order now let's select customer so now if i just scroll down and let's say i am adding this item which is queen bed which is actually a valid item Okay, this is a valid issue. So this current record is not even defined anywhere. So I have to use this parameter to access the current record object. So let's select script context dot current record. Now I have uploaded this updated code back to Netsuite. Now the issue should be solved. So mostly we should not face this error now. Current record is not defined. I'll just navigate to transaction sales and I'll click on enter sales order. Queen bed, which is a valid item. If I click add now. I can see valid line item triggered on sublist ID item, and the item ID which we fetched to was 252. So it's all good. So it's allowing. I mean, our script is allowing to commit that line. Now let's try another item, which is not a valid item. Let's say this one, and let's clear the locks. And let me click add. Right now, if you see the item ID is 253. and already i am getting an error or the alert pop up which says use the valid item now right now it's actually committing so what we have to do is just make sure you return false and let's update this code the reason behind why it has considered as a valid is because instead of if condition i have written true so it just considers it as A valid one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add two statements. One is alert, and then return the false. So my code has been successfully updated to Netsuite. Now let's go back to Netsuite and retest our scenario. So I'll better navigate from first. Let's add, and it's allowing me to commit. Now let's select the invalid item. Now let's say bed or the platform bed. So oh, if I just try to commit this line, it should not allow me to go further. 
So this item ID is 251 and I already got the alert use valid item. Right now if you see the commitment is not happening on this line. It's just blocking me to go further. So until and unless I select the valid item, let's say this particular one, it will not allow me to add this line. So right now I selected the valid line item. Now if I click add, it allows me. So that's it guys. So this valid line item is used to validate your complete line of the sublist.